Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed my previous videos, you can find links in the description box. This video is about oxygen flowmeter. In this video, you will learn. What is oxygen flowmeter? And you will also learn about important parts of oxygen flowmeter. In addition to this, you will learn how to read oxygen flowmeter and how to set the flow of oxygen flowmeter. Lastly, how to perform pre use checkout procedure for oxygen flowmeter. First of all, what is oxygen flowmeter? As a name suggests, it is a device that measures the flow of oxygen from an oxygen dispensing unit to the user of the oxygen. Oxygen flowmeter can either be attached to a part of an oxygen tank, or it can be in standalone device that measures the flow from a gas tank or gas concentrator. In the medical field, a nurse can use an oxygen flow meter to verify that the patient is getting the right amount of oxygen. In this section, you will learn about important parts of oxygen flowmeter. First important part is outlet fitting port. This port is used to supply metered gas to a therapy device. Second important part is flow control knob. It is knurled knob that regulates the flow rate through the flowmeter. Third important part is flow tube scale. With the help of this scale, you can read flow rate increments. Generally, this scale is in liters per minute. Another important part is ball. This ball indicates flow rate by reading its center of ball. This top part of flowmeter is known as shroud. Shroud maintains gas pressure around flow tube. In this part, I am going to explain how to read oxygen flow meter. Oxygen flow meters usually measure gas flow in liters per minute. In general, most oxygen flow meters measure gas flow from 0 liters per minute to 15 liters per minute. If they are measuring flow from a scuba tank or oxygen concentrator. As you can see from the picture that, flow tube scale is in liters per minute. And this flowmeter can measure maximum flow rate up to 15 liters per minute. And 1 liters per minute is minimum flow rate capacity of this oxygen flow meter. As you can see from the picture that, there is one ball inside flowmeter, which indicates the current flow rate of oxygen gas. In this example, center of ball indicates that, flow rate is 5 liters per minute. Now, let's learn, how to set flow rate of oxygen flow meter. Flow rate can be set by rotating flow control knob to counterclockwise direction or clockwise direction. For example, in order to increase flow rate, rotate flow control knob to counterclockwise direction. And to decrease flow rate, rotate flow control knob to clockwise direction. In this section, I am going to show how to perform pre use checkout procedure. First of all, let's understand when and why we need to perform this test. Let's understand when we need to perform this test. The pre-use checkout procedure must be performed before using this equipment on each patient. Second most important thing is that, do not connect the flowmeter to the therapy device until this procedure is completed. Moreover, all tests must be performed with the appropriate gas supply as shown on the flowmeter label. Lastly, why we need to perform this test? This test must be performed to check, there is no leaks in flow meter before using this equipment on each patient. So, how to perform pre-use checkout procedure? Step number 1. Rotate the flow control knob clockwise to shut off the flow. The ball should rest at the bottom of the flow tube and not move. Step number 2. 
rotate the flow control knob counterclockwise direction until the ball reaches the top of the flow tube. Continue to rotate the flow control knob counterclockwise direction. In the 0 to 15 liters per minute model, listen and feel for a large increase in delivered gas flow. In the 0 to 3.5 liters per minute model, there should be little change in sound and feel when the flow control knob is fully opened. Step number 3. Rotate the flow control knob clockwise direction to shut off the flow. The ball should rest at the bottom of the flow tube and not move. Repeat these steps few times to make sure that there is no leaks in flow meter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you will never miss informative video like this.